people who have escaped the purgatory of the 925. How do you do it? I currently work 2 days a week 16 hours days, hospital, and I can never go back to 925. Only negative aspect, those days are sad son, but whatever I only work 8 days a month, I'll take it. I asked my boss if I could work from 7 to 5, 4 days a week, and he said yes. So now I have a 3 day weekend every weekend. Not only that, but I work Sunday Wednesday, so my Monday is hassle free without everyone looking over my shoulder. I just come in and get my projects done without any interference. I'm also getting so many of the home improvement projects done that I wanted to get done now and I'm enjoying life much more. Nice boss tbh. I used to work nights and weekends for years, I'm now thoroughly enjoying my 9 to 5. The 9 to 5 has such a bad rep, but for those who have shitty hours, or worse no job at all, 9 to 5 is a lifesaver. Inverse question, how does one acquire a 9 to 5? Local government. I just recently got a local government job, and one of the best parts is the schedule. I work a job where there's no set hours and we can work whenever. I end up working 10 to 6 anyway because that's the sanest schedule and having midday interruptions disrupts the flow of my thoughts and focus. It's nice to not have to be at my desk when work is light and I'm glad I can start late or leave early when I have other things. And I prefer choosing to work these hours than being expected to because there isn't any expectation from others that I'll be tied to my desk at a certain point in the day. On the weekends, I wrote articles and gave them away for free. Then some videos. And made some forums. I reduced my expenses. Then the videos started to send me money and I monetized the articles. And then one day, my piddly income was bigger than my expenses. I was able to break away, and the I did some kickstarters, made some movie like things, wrote a book. Now I own a couple hundred acres and support a half dozen people. I have been free of the 925 for about 15 years, and it all started with giving stuff away for free. I got myself a new job that's now 6 630. Only now I work, on average, 3 days a week, and have long weekends every week. Wish I only worked an hour and a half each week. I'm way more productive in the mornings, and I work a 7 to 3. Same number of hours, but nobody wants to meet or talk to you from 7 to 9 a.m. anyway and you get to dip out before 5 p.m. when deadlines are due. It's been nice. Corona. After a really bad depressive episode, I realized being regulated in an office from 8, 5 was slowing destroying my mental health. I hated working for the weekend and I hated going in Monday knowing I would be stuck doing the same thing 5 days again. I applied to an airline on a whim 2 years ago and becoming a flight attendant was the best thing that has ever happened to me. I love that every day is different, every flight is different. I start and come home at different times and see so many different places. Now, right now with pandemic restricting flying is super unfortunate, to say the least. However it also makes me realize how much I love this job, and that I hope I can go back to doing it again once we are able to contain the spread safely again. Went back to college. This has been a temporary fix, but it's at least given me a break from it. Finding a job where you work gigs, rather than regularly also has helped. I've done all kinds of stuff from photography to childcare. I agree cutting expenses helps a lot too. My car is 20 years old. I live in a small apartment. I could afford more, but I'd rather work less. I dropped out of that lifestyle. I was focused on getting a 9 to 5 job for reasons and once I was there I hated it. Worked my ass off in school and had a job at the World Trade Center with an awesome view of Manhattan. A lot of people would feel inspired or accomplished, but the only thing I felt was disdain. I didn't like who I was, and I didn't like who I worked with. Really dislike my work. I dropped that lifestyle and became a mover. I work with a bunch of talented musicians and make ends meet. I like my life a lot more now. By choosing to be a student forever, ACA grad school. Hun, I started selling Young Living Essential Oils. They're life changing. 
they cure cancer and can help protect you from corona. I make thousands of dollars a month. If you want in on the action, DM me. Haha. <laughs> Just kidding, MLMs are awful. I'm a teacher, so my hours are 6.30 to 4.30. I'm allowed to leave at 3, but I usually stay to get work done. Being that I'm allowed to leave at 3 means I can normally attend my daughter's daycare parties. I love 9 to 5, compared to the weird shifts I had at a call center, where I might start at 10.30 am some days, 2 pm others, etc. Yeah September 5th may seem like purgatory, but I've had plenty of jobs, where the schedule was total hell. I'm dying for a 9 to 5. I spent 3 years in a hospital working 6 to 6 with 28 hour on call shifts every 3 days. I fall on my knees every day and thank god for my 9 to 5 current job. Pure fucking luck. I was a couch bun that literally stumbled into being a political consultant for 4 years. Left that and used what I learned to become a business consultant. How the hell does one stumble into being a political consultant? Maybe he was working the gun counter in your local Oklahoma Walmart. I married a doctor. Now I'm a stay at home dad of two. Shit, why didn't I think of that? I know what I'm about to say is really hard for 99% of people, so I consider myself lucky, but finding a job I love. It sounds crazy, but I actually get really excited when I wake up on Monday morning. Congrats, and at the same time, I hate you. Tangically related anecdote, I started freelance web development to try to escape the 925 and work on my own schedule. Turns out, most of the country runs on 925 and my clients, so now I just work 9 to 5 at home, lol. I became a stay at home dad. Also I don't have kids. To scrap it. I dk that it's viable in any city, but in a highly populated one I was making more a week than my office job. With that came absolutely no work benefits. With that also came complete autonomy and responsibility which for me were worth it. Probably not what you are looking for, as it is a little extreme. Moved, almost literally, halfway around the world, so my wife could take advantage of a once in a lifetime opportunity. Her job had a temporary position open up in Asia. Big downside was that my job couldn't keep me remote if I was moving outside the US. We lost a large chunk of our income, but we had enough saved up, so it would work out fine. We had planned to travel a lot, since we have never been able to visit this side of the planet. So I never got a standard job. Now it looks unlikely that we will be able to take any big trips this year. I'll return to my 9 to 5 when we eventually move back, but for now I'm just enjoying my extra long vacation. I got a woman pregnant with two sets of twins who happened to make almost double my income. It only made sense for me to stop working. The ironic thing is I work way harder now being a stay at home dad, but I wouldn't trade it for the world. Those twins make bank. Got fired. Worked several shitty jobs for 30 years. Lived frugally. Obsessively saved. Done without a lot of things. Then got sick, got laid off can't work anymore. Living off savings until I die, hopefully before my savings runs out. The American dream. Work a different shift 12 to 9. I have a friend who works a 12 hour night shift, he loves it, he doesn't have to talk to any suits, he reads, takes courses, works on his poker. It's usually quiet, he has so much seniority now, if he wanted 9 to 5 they'd have to give it to him, but he doesn't. Because it's a 12 hour shift, he's 3 days on 4 days off, then 4 days on 3 days off. So basically he only works 14 out of 28 days, but gets the same hours. I work at home now, so pretty much I can work when I want, so long as it gets done, though it's easier to work during the day, so I can get a hold of my clients. It took me a while to get my foot in the door and I worked hard to be where I am. I retired. Good for you. I hope you're enjoying it. Had a mental breakdown, quit, and went to work at shitty job after shitty job. I'm a musician. I went to school for composition, then music education. 
my plan B messed up the trajectory of my plan A I've spent lots of time trying to work in music composition full time over the past several years, and I'm pretty much there. Don't let your backup plan fuck up your actual plan. Just never applied for a job, problem fixed. As a programmer approaching midlife, I saw the writing on the wall, kids coming out of college were raised with computers, had a better understanding of programming concepts, and it was hard for me to keep up and justify my higher salary. Don't get me wrong, I could still write great code and knew how to analyze a problem and design an efficient algorithm to address it, but writing code is not what it used to be, now it's more being able to assemble a bunch of different technologies slash frameworks and get them to play together. So, I began looking into starting a business of my own. Spent a couple of years investigating potential business while continuing to work my day job. Somehow, not really certain how. I ended up deciding to open an ice cream store. And after more research, training, and planning, I did it. So now, I have a bunch of teens slash twenties people working for backslash me backslash and backslash I backslash get to set the rules, hire the good people, no assholes is my rule, and make the decisions on how we operate. And I don't work 9 to 5 anymore. More like 8am to 11pm, 7 days a week, probably 300 days a year. But it's mine, and I love it. I'm an accountant. I work what most people call a stereotypical 9 to 5 office job and lem tell ya, it's fantastic compared to my previous jobs as a trade contractor, working in a hotel, grocery stores, and restaurants. Fuck all that shit. I actually work anywhere between 6 and 3, because the company I work for is more flexible than a contortionist. Edit, grammar. I make art. Very close to being able to escape the 9. 5 but unfortunately I haven't fully escaped it yet. Here's hoping for good fortunes. The simplest answer is just that your income just has to be over your expenses. The most clear mechanism for which is just having your capital gains over your expenses. If you can get your expenses down to dollar sign 20k slash year in a low cost area, that means saving about dollar sign 500k to pretty safely be able to never sell labor again with a 3% buffer on average market returns for inflation or a possible slowdown $1 million for dollar sign $40 k etc. That's about 12 years of saving everything over that dollar sign $20k in index funds. If you can make dollar sign $65k after taxes and the market average is 7%. If it doesn't need to be truly completely passive, it becomes much more quickly attainable. If you can develop a valuable skill you can do on contracts remotely and move to a low cost of living area. For example, if you can get like one very basic web dev contract a month, you can cash that couple grand off of a few days of work, and then as long as you build up a buffer to deal with slow months and keep the average month above your expenses, you are pretty much free. I found a new subject to study, your comment. See you in a year, when I understand some of it. Oh, I don't have a degree, so I'm stuck working shitty jobs at worse pay with shittier hours. Lucky me. No you're not. Don't limit yourself like that. I don't have a degree and I worked myself into an amazing 9 to 5 desk job after years of shitty retail and bartending. Lived in a world where coronavirus happened. Wish I could work 9 to 5. Go into construction. Any trade. Electrical is a decent one, not as tolling on the body as others. I don't love it, but it pays the bills. Keep the lights on if you will. Erdok here with some awesome schedulers who know I prefer evening shifts. Hi, I'm a nursing student, second time in a row I've started a question like that. I have a question that's completely unrelated, but I don't really know who to ask about this, so here we go. I'm interested in graduate education, and I may go so far as getting my DNP. Do nurses with post undergrad education often work on the floor? Do they get significant raises slash role changes? 925 is a privilege. When will people get that having a work schedule that you know exactly when and when not you'll be working is absolutely amazing. Want a 3 to 4 day weekend? Take two vacation days off, and have Thursday through Sunday off. Bam. Vacation. 
Try requesting that kind of time off in any other job and you have to beg people to take your shifts and swap things around and then hope your manager isn't a jerk. You don't hate the 9 to 5 you hate your job. There's a difference. I worked a 9 to 5 at one of the most sought after companies in the world. Was bored. Quit for a job with lower base pay, an office one hour away, in a different industry. I work weird hours, aggregate 60 to 85 hours a week. Fucking love it, because the job is awesome. The right life decision is rarely the sane or safe one. I walked out of a financially cushy, yet mentally and emotionally torturous, 9 to 5 call center job, after coming into a small inheritance. Afterwards, I found a part-time job at a cultural institution that I love, that worked with me, so I could keep up with my personal life, and mounting health issues. The pay wasn't fantastic, but I got by fine. The only job I ever had where I loved what I was doing, and actually knew what was going on. Care short of a dream job, really. Then Corona hit. Well, I sold my sub 925, so that's how. I'm a nurse. I work 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. I've been a nurse for two years, and until recently I used to be on swing shift, three weeks of night shift, either 11 p 7 a or 7 p 7 a, and four weeks of day shift, either 7 or 3 p, 3 p 11 p or 7 or 7 p, thankful. To finally have a consistent schedule. Plus I love night shift at my hospital. Thanks for watching. Do you have something to share? Leave it in the comments. Please like and subscribe for more edit readings. Have a great day.